Hello and welcome to day one here at Retail Week Live. As you can see, it's getting pretty busy behind us ahead of uh, the opening sessions. Joined by Mike Coop, the boss of Sainsbury's. Mike, you're here for the opening keynote speech, um, talking about Argos and the story so far post the acquisition. How is it all going in the first few months? Well, so far so good. So um, I can't believe it's already six months. We acquired the business on the 1st of September and so what, we're now in the early part of March, but it's gone pretty much to plan. Uh, we're in the process of rolling out concession store with stores within Sainsbury's stores. We're at around 40 at the moment. We've rolled out click and collect into 200 locations. And so um, we're getting on with the plan that we laid out. What do you think of the main challenges that you faced since you took over the business? Uh, what, Sainsbury's or the Argos business? Uh, Argos. Um, actually, it's gone pretty much as we expected it to. You inevitably find things that you weren't expecting, but equally uh, there are things, things on the upside that we uh, equally weren't expecting. And so as we look forward, we're pretty confident that we can execute what we set out to do. And if anything, uh, we think we can do it faster than we originally said. Mm. And you, you talk about the upside there. What can we expect to see coming through over the next 12 to 18 months or so? Well, as I say, we can certainly accelerate the, the rate of rollout of the stores. We're pretty confident we have a formula that works. Uh, one of the hidden gems um, was Habitat as a business. Um, we didn't um, put anything into our plans about what we might do with Habitat, but actually we'll have seven Habitat concessions in our first year in our supermarket chain, which adds a bit of top spin to the overall mm. supermarket offer. Uh, and the other part of the equation is the financial services business, where, um, again, we hadn't factored in any synergies from the financial sure. services business, but actually it enhances our bank and it gives us a lot of opportunity to grow our consumer credit line and equally that has the opportunity to fuel the Argos business. So there are a number of things that we didn't factor into the original case which are coming through. Mm. So you've acquired Argos, Morrison's is tying up with Amazon, Tesco's looking to buy Booker. Who's done the best deal and, and how do you see that all panning out over the next few years? Oh, we'll see. Um, you know, Clearly we, we bought Home Retail Group um, Argos because we thought um, it was a good financial transaction as well as being right strategically. Um, but it shows the way that the world is moving. Uh, you know, the tectonic plates are moving. Uh, there's a significant amount of disruption in our industry driven by the digitization of technology mm. and customers have more choice than they've ever had. And we talk about being there for our customers whenever, um, wherever they want. And uh, different companies are responding to that in different ways. And we'll see how that plays out over the next few years. Mm. But I'm 100% confident in our strategy. We'll see how everybody else's work out, works out. And just finally, Mike, because I know you need to hot foot it to the, the main stage. How do you guys view success over the next 12 months? Well, we've laid out a plan. Uh, we're executing against that plan. Um, it's not just about making sure that we can hit the numbers of stores, but it's also making sure that the commercial underpin of the business is also successful. So what does success look like? That success looks like, first of all, executing what we set out to execute, and secondly, deliver the numbers, deliver the synergies that, that we laid out to the outside world, and we're pretty confident we'll be able to do that. Okay, Mike, cheers for joining us and we look forward to speaking to you again at uh, Q4's next week.